You get homework help. Let's go. All right, guys. Welcome back. Uh, you should be on page 140. Um, some more work with adding, subtracting fractions. Let's do it. <sighs> talk through these problems as a class and write your answers below. Actually, you're going to talk through this problem with me right here with you. Here we go. Compare. Tr draw two different models to show two-thirds minus one-third. Um, okay, no problem. Both the models are going to be pretty similar, uh, but uh, they're still going to show the same thing. One way to do it is with a number line type model, and uh, I would put uh, zero at the end, and then I would put one third, and then I would put two thirds, and then that's really all you need because they're asking us to work with two thirds. So I put a two-thirds right there, and it says minus one. So I start there, and I go minus one, minus one equals one-third. Two-thirds minus one-third equals one-third. Now I've got this, uh, this other model I'm going to draw. How about a circle with uh, three different uh, pieces to it? No, 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 I don't want that to move. I want the circle to move. Thank you. So here we go. Uh, the way I do thirds is I draw a triangle to about the middle, bring it up, and then draw like the letter Y, kind of, see? Anyway, so we've got two thirds, gets shaded in, shading it in, really ugly, sorry. And then it says to subtract or take away one third, so let's take away one third, now go away one third, and what do you have left? You have just one third left over. So obviously, over there and over here, they both give you the same thing. The answer is one third. Rob had a large pizza and a small pizza. See? Large pizza, small pizza, large pizza, small pizza. He cut each pizza into fourths. I see that. Do you see that? How he cut it into four different pieces? He took one fourth from each pizza. And he used the following problem to show their sum. One-fourth plus one-fourth equals two-fourths. What did Rob do wrong? Now, the math isn't wrong. One-fourth plus one-fourth is two-fourths. So let's start with that. Let's say the math isn't wrong. What, what's wrong? What is wrong? Well, look at the size of those pizzas. They're not the same. The holes, they're different size holes. What's wrong is he starts with holes that are not the same size. So when you're adding fractions, this problem just proved to you, just showed to you, that you have to, you have, to have holes, W-H-O-L-E-S, that are the same size because if you don't then when you add it up it's just not going to be accurate because one-fourth plus one-fourth is two-fourths but you know this pizza and that pizza are not the same size pizzas and you're just messing up you're just messing it up you gotta have the same size holes or in this case the same size pizzas let's move on Ooh, look at this uh, think about how you would add three whole numbers. You add two numbers first and then add the third to that sum. You add three fractions the same way. Use a number line, an area model, to show one-tenth plus three-tenths plus four-tenths. Whew! All right, let's do that. So we're going to need to fill in this uh, number line first. So why don't you do that with me if you haven't started already. Uh, zero, then one-tenth, then two-tenths then, ugh, that's really ugly, I'm sorry, it's really hard to draw with the mouse, like, I can't, I can't make it look nice, it's just hard to do, uh, five tenths, we need a little more, six tenths, seven tenths, aye, aye, aye. eight tenths, and I'm actually going to stop right there, and you'll see why in a second, okay, so let's start with one-tenth, shall we? Which is right there. Now it says to add three-tenths. Let's add three-tenths. Let's go 
One, two, three. Okay, and then it says to add four tenths. Let's do that. One, two, three, four. And where do we end? We end at eight tenths. So we know that one tenth plus three tenths plus four tenths equals eight tenths. Let's do it one more time. You have to with the area model, with the not the area model, but the um, the model below, the uh, the coloring, the shading. So we've got one tenth. Let's make him purple. So one tenth gets to be purple. Then we have uh, three tenths. Let's make him green. So three tenths gets to be green. Then we've got four tenths. Let's make him uh, blue. So four tenths gets to be blue. One, two, three, four. Adding all those tenths together, how many tenths are there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Once again, the answer equals eight tenths, as it should, as it should. Please remember that the top numbers are being added. But the bottom number, the denominator, is remaining the same. It's still 10 on the bottom the whole time. All right, guys, that's all the homework we have for tonight. Pretty simple, pretty simple. Uh, you're going to get some, some more work uh, over winter break as well that has to do with adding and subtracting fractions. So laying this groundwork is extremely, extremely important. I'll see you next time. Have a good evening. Bye, guys.